Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to embed screen flow in utility bar. Please subscribe my channel. Uh, my channel name is Easy Coding with Shantanu. Today's tip. So you can query custom levels using tooling API from developer console and in any other supported tool. So when you when you want to uh, query custom level from developer console you will get an option called tooling API uh, then you just check the tooling API checkbox and then you can query the custom level from developer console so today's agenda is that how to embed embed screen flow in utility bar then we will show uh, in demo then we will discuss some question and then we will provide you some exercise so you can let me know if you if you have any difficulty to complete the exercises Next, so how to embed screen flow in utility bar? Open app manager, then select or edit the lightning app. Go to utility items desktop only and click add utility item. So whenever you will click add utility item, you will get to select the respective flow. Then you can change some screen properties and just after saving the utility bar, you will, you, after saving the application, uh, you will get the flow when you run the application in the bottom bar of the browser. Let's see in demo. So currently I am on the contact record page. What I will do, I need to go to setup. Go to app manager then let's, let's assume that I want to enable utility bar for my sales application so definitely I need to go to sales application click on edit so this is the app now I need to click on utility items desktop only version now you need to click on add utility item here you can see the flow just select the flow so let's assume that uh, I have created one flow in the previous sessions so I have taken the same flow account creation screen flow so basically I want to create an account from the utility bar in any step of my app it depends it doesn't depend on the particular record page or it doesn't doesn't depend on the particular app page particular page okay so when I will open sales application that utility bar will open so through utility bar I can invoke this flow and I can create the respective account so I can rename that flow component here let's assume that we can rename that the utility item let's assume that create account sorry We can uh, set up the icon or we can uh, adjust the width and height. Let's save it now. Okay. Now I can refresh the page. The application already I opened the sales application. Now you can see that in the bottom bar that the utility bar is coming and this is the utility item. So whenever I will click on create account, the respective flow has been opened. So this, this utility bar is common for all the tabs, not, not only for the contact. It can be open for the, from the lead as well. So let's say I can create, a, create an account. Let's say ABC limited. Account number is 1212 and type is plus customer direct the next it. So, account ABC Limited is created and finish. So now if I go to the, the account tab, you will see that the account ABC LTD has been created. And in the detail page, the account number, whatever I have put and whatever I have put the type, all those informations are coming here. So in this way, you can create the utility, you can create the utility item in the utility bar or you can enable the utility bar with respect to the application. From this utility bar, you can invoke the flow. Now, 
If I go to this utility items desktop only setup, you will get one option called start automatically. So this is very interesting. Let's assume that you want to show a data table uh, uh, for multiple records. So definitely it will take time whenever you will click on that the respective utility item. So for that what Salesforce has introduced the feature, if you check this checkbox, whenever you will run the application or whenever you will open the application, automatically those data it in behind it will uh, take all those data from the Forge.com database. So whenever you will click on the, the respective, respective utility item, it will not take too much time to display the result to the end user. Now if you see the, the respective help from Salesforce, I am just reading out. If the component needs time to initialize, you can start loading the data when the app first, sorry, app, app first opens. Otherwise the component loads when a user first opens it from the utility bar. So whatever we have discussed now, basically this is required for the voice utility application enabling this option lets the user receive incoming calls before they open any utility item. So that's why you can enable that's the checkbox. Now this is pretty much interesting. This is the, the input variable I have declared in the utility bar for other reason not for this demo purpose. So whenever you will declare any input variable on the utility bar that option will come in, come here so you can set up according to this remember in that variable you cannot set up the, the current record id or you cannot pass the current record id from utility bar to flow those are the things uh, you have to remember when you will add the utility item into the utility bar now let's go back to the slide okay now we will discuss two questions one by one. First question is that can we send record ID not record actually here it would be record ID can we send record ID of the current record from the utility bar to flow. No it's not possible because it will run in global context. Can we run utility bar in mobile? No because only is applicable for only desktop version that's why whenever you want to click on the, the utility items in the app you will see is that the ORing phrase is the utility items in in phrase desktop only so that means utility bar is applicable for only desktop version however in the first question according to the first question we cannot send the record id of the current record from utility bar to flow but you can write lightning web component to get the, the record id that's a that's a tweak we need to incorporate now this is for you uh, just let me know if you will have any difficulty create case records from service utility bar with the following fields please for the success message after creation of the case record however system will be able to handle the exception if the case record is not being created due to the exception so those are not the contact fields that is my mistake this would be case fields status case origin subject description and priority so please do this exercise and let me know if you have any difficulty so the here the clue is that you have to uh, create the, the screen flow and you have to enable the utility bar for service application that's it for today thank you thank you for joining this session you can reach out to me my linkedin profile my twitter as well as my mail id thanks for watching Please subscribe my channel. It's easy coding with Shantanu. Thank you. Bye.